What's good everyone, Shuret here bringing you guys another discussion today and the discussion we're going to be doing today is on link format. I've previously done two link format discussions before, one was me on the more positive side of it saying you guys should adapt to the game considering you guys have adapted to Zodiacs with their one card Xyz but the second video was me realising that in fact link format wasn't the thing for me, I'm, I'm not really going to enjoy this format as much because I'm creative and link format like um kind of limit my creativity in this game so um, let's just get straight into this d the discussion straight away I'm gonna say in my opinion I don't think link format is going to be good for this game at all and I believe this because based on what we've seen so far uh, with link monsters uh, and in the anime it's definitely going to be full on link focused. There's not going to be much variation because all the main characters in the anime do use link decks. And so far in Circuit Break and um, what's the other one called the Duelist? Uh, it's prevalently been link monsters that are taking up some of the best card spots. Yes, we're going to have some good TCG rituals, Vendreds, but overall link monsters are going to be like the, the big part of the set from now on. So if you look back at the Arc 5 era, the Arc 5 era is from Duelist Alliance till Maximum Crisis, this era that we've just passed. The minute we get called to do this, we can officially say uh, by Arc 5 era we knew you well and everything. Uh, Arc 5 anime wasn't all that well though if you guys know what I mean. So in this um, era, we've had Ritual decks topping with Necros and Cyber Angels topping. We've had Fusion decks with Invoked. We've had Synchro decks with Yang Zings and the Wind Witch Engine to summon Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. We've had Xyz decks with uh, Burning Abyss, the Talonites, Zodiacs. And then finally we have Pendulum decks like Metal Falls, Pepe, the both broken Tier Zero best deck of all time, and Cleefort, the most de degenerate helmet deck of all time. So basically um, we've had so much variation, so much change in the meta. Another fusion deck you could say is ABC as well, I forgot about that one. So we've had so much variation, it's just been so good, even though we've had broken cards, you weren't limited to what you could play. You you had so much choice. Like in this, like let's look at this. Just the format that has passed, like this Zodiac one. You could choose to not play anything at all. You could just play um, True Draco. Like this is just like the decks you could play, not the decks that would win, but the decks you could play. You could play True Draco, like pure. You could play uh, Zodiac for Xe summoning. You could play the dinosaur stuff for Xe summoning and synchro summoning. You could play Invokes for fusion summoning. If you wanted to really play rituals, you could play Cyber. In your variants you wanted to play pendulums the pendulum magicians were good pendulum magician zodiac did one of the dragon duels uh, for the north american world championship qualifier so you had so many options to go to you weren't limited but with link format because in the anime as i've said it's basically uh, it's based around link monsters all the good cards in the set are going to be Link Monsters, and you we've already seen that with Firewall Dragon. Firewall Dragon is absolutely broken, seriously. And I'm just, I've already discussed Firewall Dragon, so I'm not going to extremely go into him too much, but you guys know how good Firewall Dragon is, and it's only going to get bro more broken from there. And you guys are probably thinking, but just, what's the difference? The Arc 5 era, you said we had good broken cards, and Link Format, we had good broken cards, but here's why I've explained why we had so many different variations in Arc 5. I've explained Explain this for you so you understand that in link format we're gonna have only link cards that are broken most mostly mostly like I'd say maybe 80% 75% most of the broken decks are gonna be link decks decks that revolve around link summoning because so far we got star grails and if star grails get any more support seriously they are gonna be absolutely amazing firewall loops still exist as I've already said so we're just going to keep on getting more and more broken link stuff and you guys are probably thinking it doesn't matter broken stuff in arc 5 and broken stuff in Vrains, there's no difference but the thing is it's better to have varied broken stuff than just one type of broken stuff and that's why broken one type of broken yeah one type of broken one type of broken stuff sorry repeating myself there but yeah it's better to have varied and that's what makes this game fun the fact that you have so many options but now we're limited with link format because we can only play link decks if we want to top events and you guys could say that about zodiacs you had to play zodiac to top events but you could link zodiac with other stuff and that's what was pretty good but now link decks they take up so much room and you have to rely off them so much with the zodiac engine it was just a thing to support your deck like true dracos did so much and you could just put the zodiac engine to get a dryden on board and gain lots of advantage 
So another thing with Link Format, another reason why I don't think it's going to be good for the game, is we're going to see Link Dex too much, and that's because of the rules. The rules state that you uh, you can't summon more than one monster from the extra deck unless you use Link Monsters, and then the Link Monsters arrows point to zones that you can use for uh, extra deck monsters. So everybody wants to use the extra deck, because the extra deck has become a huge thing in today's game. So what people will want to do is, they're going to have to play Link Monsters, and we're just going to see too much of it. Like Zodiac, we saw too much of it, but at least the, some of the deck was doing the work. With a Link format, we're just going to keep on seeing Deco Talker, we're going to keep on seeing Firewall Dragon. We're going to just see the stuff too much, and it's not healthy, seriously. It is not healthy. And the fact that decks really rely off of it, whereas True Draco didn't rely off Zodiac, as I've already said. True Draco just played Zodiac as an engine. Now we rely off Link Monsters just to be able to be able to, just to be able to go into our extra deck monsters. So for example, Pendulums. Pendulums are such a good mechanic, such a powerful mechanic. That we can just we have so much access to so many good extra deck monsters, and the pendulum monsters in the main deck are good as well. But now, if you want to play pendulums, you have to play link monsters, and it just kills the way decks are being played. It feels so wrong that a week ago we could have been playing decks as as powerful as we want we could have summoned three four exes monsters but now we have to use link monsters to do it and i really don't like that because i'm just like if i could do it before why can't i do it now why are you people changing the rules for and it's just a big cash grab in my opinion it's just a way of konami thought that oh we've had so many varied decks that's why people can buy whatever they want and we're not making as much money as we could have, as we could However, if they make Link Monsters so good, everybody needs the same stuff. So all they do is have to short print it, and there, there you go. And everybody wants access to it. The cards are hard to get, the cards are going to be really expensive, the booster boxes are going to raise in price, and it's just a huge cash grab. And that's what I don't like about Link Format. But I've bashed Link Format enough for now. Let's go into the positives about it. So the positives about Link Format is even though I've said that there's no variation, it is kind of cool. To have formats where everybody's using the same cards because it allows creative deck building not creative deck building as in you can like make these odd boards and do all this it allows creative deck building as in, as in tech choices like as much as i don't like zodiac format the one thing i admired about zodiac format is the tech choices that people made you had people playing forbidden chalice my body is a shield some people played shuffle reborn everybody put in these random cards to adapt because if everybody's playing the same cards you have to have your your tech choices to give you the edge with link format because a lot of people are going to be playing similar cards like the predator plant engine like all these link monsters in the extra deck some people might choose to play um, tech choices different tech choices and that's what can be good about this format you can because we know what other people are playing and what other people are going to play um, then we can include appropriate cards to counter that and that's healthy because if your uh, side deck is specifically for a deck that you know that's going to come up that's good because you've like effectively deck built and that's what I find really good about this game is that effective deck building is what is going to take you to the top and win you these tournaments but uh, another thing with Link Format is that at least, at least it's not forced on you right away. At least these broken Link mechanics aren't straight away. With Cleeforts, Cleeforts came out in like the third set. So we can assume that there's going to be like a top Link deck by uh, the next set after Circuit Break. But at least with Code of the Duelist and Circuit Break, we can still play all our other decks and we can just like use the Predator Plant engine, use Brilliant Fusion uh, and Seraph Knight until Seraph Knight gets hit because I don't want it to get hit, but I think it might get hit considering how many people are just saying Seraph Knight's getting banned, Seraph Knight's getting banned, Seraph Knight's getting banned. So uh, we can just keep on playing like that. We can still make our Link Monsters. We can still, and then we can still go into our Extra Deck Monsters. For example, Light Swan. Light Swan, even though some people could assume that they were dead, they're still more than playable because we can use the Predator Plant Engine. ABC are going to make a comeback, which I find really good. I like decks that are going to make a comeback. And I think this is going to be really healthy. I think that the, mon the first Monster Link format are going to be really good. Like with the like right now in the OCG, first True Draco dominated, which was not good at all. But then once the True Draco got hit, people started playing Invoked, people started playing ABC, people started playing the Wind Witch engine again, and these decks aren't broken. And that's what I love about it. Invoked and ABC are not broken decks. They're just good decks. And because there's nothing else to take that mantle of being the best deck, because they just because link decks just aren't good enough yet. The fact that these semi-good decks, like these not not really broken decks, but these okay decks, 
are able to play is really healthy. I think that's good. Not only if link format could be like that where um, this is how link format should be. Any deck can top. This is how Yu-Gi-Oh should be in general actually. Any deck can top but we should still be able to play Link. Every deck can still play Link Monsters, and that's fine. But the issue I have is that for Konami to make their money, they are ev they are definitely, and they definitely will. Like you're naive if you think they're not gonna. They will make a broken Link deck like Pepe. It's gonna be Pepe 2.0. This Link deck is gonna be so broken. You, we're gonna have like one card free Link monsters. It's gonna be absolutely insane, and it has to happen someday. Cause Konami want to make their money, and if uh, Konami right now in the OCG, they're not really making their money. ABC and Invoke, them sets got released ages ago. Kono like what are Konami do? What are Konami making? No money, and that's why what Konami are gonna do is that they're gonna hit these decks. And then they're going to make a broken link deck, and then this broken link deck is just going to get them in their money. And that's the issue. Konami care too much about money and not enough about the health of this game. But I'm not going to go on, go off on a tangent. I know you, some people like my tangents. My tangents are the best. Uh, if you watch this far, hashtag sure it's tangents are the best. But uh, I'm not going to go on off on a tangent on why Konami is a horrible corporation. Seriously. Uh, as I called them before, a hentai corporation or a pachinko machine corporation. Right, I need to shut up now. So overall, uh, the negatives about Link Format is that there's going to be too much of the Link decks. We're going to see too much of it. We're not going to be able to creatively deck build because we're going to have to play these Link monsters. Some decks die to it, like Synchrons, for example. Yes, you can still make Quasar, but yes, you're not going to do that because it's just like one disruption and your deck's dead. So, and then... Um, the positives are that it allows old decks to come back for the first couple of months and that it allows uh, you to include tech choices. So this has been my discussion on Link Format. I hope you've enjoyed listening to about 12 minutes of my voice. Please give me, uh, give me your thoughts about Link Format in the comment section down below. Uh, I've kind of bashed it for a while. I don't personally like it. Maybe Konami can change my mind. Maybe if they free me and put Prep to free and put Brio to free and put Unicorn to free, I'll just play Necros and, enjoy, uh, and ignore and enjoy this format. Um, more than I possibly could. So thank you guys for watching. This has been Shurit. Peace.